Welcome back dear students to video number 3 for standard 10 geometry chapter number 7. Frustum of a cone. The shape of glass used to drink water as well as the shape of water it contains are examples of frustum of a cone. Now there are various figures given over here. The first one is a cone being cut. When we have when we cut the cone, we get two parts. The upper part is the conical part and the part below it is called as the frustum. The next is we see the frustum in detail. Frustum has two circular parts, one on top and one at the base. The top circle or top circular part is smaller compared to the bottom one. So the bottom one is always the bigger one which is R1. And the top one is R2. It has height H and slant height L. A glass placed upside down is a perfect example of a frustum. Now, when a cone is cut parallel to its base, we get two figures. One is a cone and the other is the frustum. Volume and surface area of a frustum can be called calculated by some formulae. Let us see what, what those formulae are. Okay, so we have a figure over here. H is the height of a frustum. L is the slant height of a frustum. R1 and R2 are radii of circular faces of a frustum. R1 is always greater than R2. Now let's see the formula for finding slant height. Slant height of a frustum L is equal to under the square root h square plus r1 minus r2 the whole square curved surface area of a frustum pi l in the bracket r1 plus r2 total surface area of a frustum pi l in the bracket r1 plus r2 plus pi r1 square plus pi r2 square volume of a frustum 1 upon 3 pi h in the bracket r1 square plus r2 square plus r1 multiplied by r2 my dear students you need to memorize these formulae and need not worry as we solve sums it will get easier so let's go to practice set 7.2 question number one the radii of two circular ends of frustum shape of a frustum shaped bucket are 14 centimeters and 7 centimeters. Height of the bucket is 30 centimeters. How many liters of water can it hold? Another given information is 1 liter is 1000 centimeter cube. So let's start by writing the given information. The radii of two circular ends of frustum shaped bucket are 14 and 7. And we know that the bigger the bigger unit is always R1. So let's take R1 as 14 and R2 as 7. And its height is given to us H as 30 centimeters. So we have all the information we require. So let us write the formula. Volume of a buck of the bucket, in this case it's a frustum, is equal to 1 upon 3 pi R1 square plus r2 square plus r1 multiplied by r2 multiplied by height. Now let's substitute 1 upon 3. I am taking the value of pi as 22 upon 7 into in the bracket 14 square that is r1 plus 7 square this is r2 plus 14 multiplied by 7 close the bracket into 30. Now always we solve the bracket first. So I have rest the values remain the same or I can deduct this 3 1s and 3 tens. So 1 multiplied by 22 upon 7 into 14 square is 196, 7 square is 49 plus 14 into 7 98 into 10. Now after solving this I get the answer as 10780 centimeter cube. Now this is centimeter cube and I want the answer in liters. They have given me the conversion over here. 
so i have 10780 upon 1000 liters because 1 liter is 1000 cm cube so my final answer is bucket can hold 10.78 liters of water question number 2 the radii of ends of a frustum are 14 cm and 6 cm respectively and its height is 6 cm. Find its first curved surface area, total surface area and volume. The value for pi is given to me as 3.14. So let us start. The radii ends of a frustum are 14 and 6. So my R1 is 14 since it is bigger quantity and R2 is 6 and its height h is 6 centimeters. Let the slant height of the frustum L let's find be L. So let's find it first L is equal to under the square root h square plus r1 minus r2 the whole square that is 6 square plus 14 minus 6 the whole square 14 minus 6 is 8 so I have 36 plus 64 which is 100. Now taking square root I have L as 10 centimeters. Now let's find the curved surface area. Curved surface area of frustum is pi L in the bracket R1 plus R2. So that is 3.14 into 10 into 14 plus 6 which is 628 centimeters square. This is my first part. Let's find the next total surface area of a frustum. The formula is pi L in the bracket R1 plus R2 plus pi R1 square plus pi R2 square. Now if you see this, this part and this part is the same. So I am just going to substitute this value from 1. So 628 plus pi is common to both in the bracket r1 square plus r2 square so 628 plus 3.14 into in the bracket 14 square plus 6 square so that is 196 plus 36 add this and i get 628 plus 3.14 into 232 i multiply this i get this answer add both and the answer is 1356.48 centimeters square so this is my total surface area now the third part which is volume volume of the frustum is equal to 1 upon 3 pi h in the bracket r1 square plus r2 square plus r1 multiplied by r2 i'm going to substitute all the values value of pi height r1 r2 and when I solve this further, I get the answer as 1984.48 cm cube. Now, over here, the answer is not asked in liters or any such thing. So, I am going to keep my answer as it is. The final answer is curved surface area of a frustum is 628 cm square. Total surface area of a frustum is 1356 0.48 cm square and volume of the frustum is 1984.48 cm cube. Question number 3. The circumferences of circular faces of a frustum are 132 cm and 88 cm and its height is 24 cm. To find the curved surface area of the frustum, complete the following activity. It is given in the form of blanks. The value of pi should be 22 upon 7. You can even solve this sum into your notebook and check. So, I have just fill it, filled in the blanks. You can write the steps as well. So, circumference 1 over here, circumference 1 is 2 pi r1 and the value is 132. So, when I find out r1 i get r1 is equal to 132 upon 2 pi so when i solve this further which is 2 pi means 2 into 22 upon 7 7 will go on top 22 will remain down 
and when I solve it, the answer is 21 centimeters. Same ways for circumference 2, that is this. 2 pi r2 is equal to 88. So r2 is 88 upon 2 pi. When I solve this, I get the answer as 14 centimeters. Now I have r1 and r2. I can find slant height. So slant height of circum of frustum is L is equal to under the root h square plus r1 minus r2 the whole square. So that is 24 square plus r1 minus r2 that is 21 minus 14 is 7 the whole square. When I solve this, I get my answer as 25 centimeters. Next is curved surface area of frustum pi r1 plus r2 into l. So pi r1 plus r2 is 35 into l is 25. Just now I found out the value of l as 25. So when I solve this further, I get the answer as 2750 square centimeters. So that's it for now. We will meet in the next video. Till then, thank you for watching. Have a nice day.